everybody, this is Matthew Movies coming out with my review of Fighting With My Family, the 2019 wrestling movie about the WWE wrestler Paige. And before I get into my thoughts on the movie itself, I'm going to give you a bit of an idea of who my, my relationship with wrestling. I have been a almost lifelong wrestling fan. I usually watch wrestling every single week, and I've watched it most of my life. I had a few years where I didn't watch it so much, like a lot of people did, but I, I picked it back up, and I've, I've been following it for years and years and years. And so there's a part of me that when I saw this movie, I thought, mm, this, you know, the trailer for this movie, I thought, this might be awesome. This might be right up my alley. But there was another part of me that thought, this might not work for me at all because I actually have a better idea. And obviously, I'm not a wrestler, so I don't have a perfect idea, but I have seen lots of documentaries on, on the industry and followed the careers of many wrestlers, listened to interviews, and, and heard lots of people discuss what it's like to get into this business. So there was a part of me that thought, hmm, am I going to know a little bit too much going in, and is that going to take away from my enjoyment of this movie? And, and just in a nutshell, right off the hop, it totally did. Now here's the thing, the WWE wrestler Paige, I have always been a big fan of hers. I don't really care for her current role with the company, but when she was an actual wrestler, and I enjoyed her when she was a GM, she's managing a tag team that seems very oddly fit for her, but that's beyond, beside the point. When she was a wrestler, I really, really liked her, and I thought she was great because she was like this very dynamic person, but really stood out from everybody else in the company and a lot of people in the industry. So I thought that was a really, really great strength of hers, and to see her journey into the, the WWE and getting them to, to agree to, to sign her and, and to... to focus on her I that has that story to me has a great deal of potential and for those of you who don't know how this movie came to be the rock is the producer behind it and he is the one that basically forced this movie to existence because he was in a hotel room I believe it was and he saw this documentary about pages or career or before she got in the WWE and then when she got the opportunity to go and audition for the WWE alongside her real life brother who also is a wrestler and I've seen that documentary too and it is a fascinating documentary especially the dynamics between her and her brother and how she gets signed and he doesn't get signed I mean it really is a fascinating story wrestling aside because that's the thing I I, I feel like there, there might be some uh, idea out there that you need to be a wrestling fan to, to enjoy this movie but I, I actually feel like the opposite is true because if you don't really know the industry I mean this, this is such a kind of universal story this this idea of this this person who has this dream and wants to, to make it and, and goes after it and it, you know it's like not obviously it's not rocky as in, in the sense of like you know a big sporting event at the end, but it's the same style of, of, of story. This person who's willing to, to go balls to the wall in order to beat the odds and, and, and eventually makes it. So, you know, it really, I completely understand why this movie exists, but my problem is, is it feels so surface deep to me. I mean, the actress who plays Paige, I thought she was pretty well cast, and it, but my problem was, I, I think she did as good a job as anybody could, but there was a lot of times where like it, it felt like she was putting on this page persona, and I don't know what she's like in real life, but like there was there was she, there was a lot of anger and like angst. It almost felt like she, the character in the movie almost felt like the rebellious teen, which in a way does work, because when, when Paige got with the WWE, she basically was a teen. And, and so, in that sense, it, it kind of works a little bit, but it just, I don't know, it just didn't, it just didn't feel true to me. Like, the, the actual her, the actual wrestler herself, like, she does, she does have this very anti-authority appeal to her, but there's, there's also this kind of earnestness underneath it that you can always feel there. Like, there's this real she had the, the one of her major strengths was that despite the fact that she did have this different appeal than all the other people she was really able to, to make a connection with the performers and I just didn't feel it with this actor at all not not necessarily that she gave a bad performance just to me she just wasn't the, the character that I know but yeah she was okay uh, and and but the other, the other, there was other aspects of this movie that just didn't work for me at all. Vince Vaughn plays a coach, essentially the guy who, the the main WWE trainer, who I'm sure is an amalgamation of many WWE trainers that have worked for the company. Now, then, it's it's a, there's there's definitely a role that is similar to the one that he's playing, and he he's really hard on her and all that, but. He just, I, I've seen Vince Vaughn in several movies recently where I thought, man, I mean, this guy was giving the, uh, the performances of his lifetime, but, but this one, 
he just didn't he just didn't feel he didn't feel invested in in the character. He just seemed like he was kind of running through the paces, and it was like almost like he was doing a, a skit about the 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 hard the coach that's hard on the person to, to bring them up. There was a few moments where he was like kind of being real with her that felt more honest and felt better. But overall, I didn't really necessarily care for his his character. And, and The Rock is in this movie. He's all over the advertising for this movie. He's on the poster. He's barely in the movie. His role, to me, is terrible. Because the, as, a, as a wrestling fan, I know there is no way, no way, that he did anything remotely close to any of the things. Like it, Spoiler, in the movie, he not only gives Paige and the brother this big pep talk before in the back, which... I mean, I guess pro possibly could have, but he's basically giving like a wrestling promo. It it's just just doesn't feel real to me at all. But whatever, I could kind of write that off a little bit. But the movie ends with this with this uh, this Paige finding out that she's getting called up to the main roster as going to debut on on in national television, and The Rock for some reason is the one that tells her. There's no way he would have been in that role, and you know I've read interviews and he wasn't. It was just it's just this really blatant attempt to, to shoot, like, get him in there. And it's so ham-fisted. It's clear that they're like, oh, The Rock's involved. We gotta, gotta get him to do something. And if they just stuck with that one cameo of him giving the pep talk, it would have been okay. But it just felt so dishonest to me and, and manipulative. It just didn't work for me at all. The biggest thing this movie has going for it, though, in my view, is Nick Frost and Lena Headey play Paige's parents. And I have seen interviews with those two, and they are crazy. The uh, Paige's real life parents, and these two did a great job of being them. And like, they're they're crazy in in the sense that like they're so atypical. They're, they're not they're not like nuts people. They seem like really actually sweet and and caring people. And and the. Hetty and, and Nick Frost, I thought, completely captured it. I thought that they were by far the highlight of this movie. Unfortunately, they're not in it that much. But every scene that, that they were in, to me, it came alive. And it had this really great way of, uh, of get, kind of giving like the more carny aspect of the industry that a lot of movies, a lot of people don't seem to necessarily understand. And and I also thought that the other, the other aspect of this movie that worked, too, was the guy who played Paige's brother. I thought did a pretty great job too, because uh, again, like if you see the documentary, the guy who the Paige's real brother, he did have a lot of things going for him, and there was every reason in the world for him necessarily to, like he could have thought, you know, I'm gonna make it, especially when he got call, called to get the opportunity to go and audition and to have that that rug pulled out from underneath him. I thought that the actor who played him did did it. A great job in, in all that. So those are my thoughts on fighting with my family. Let me know in the comment section below what you think. Hit that like button. Other than that, have yourself a good day.